we're just made of matter, how can we also be conscious, self-aware, able to feel, think, talk, and do all the human things we do? How could matter ever become conscious? Some say it doesn't, that we only think we think, but we're really just matter. Some say that matter has always been conscious, down to quantum mechanics. Some say that the whole universe is conscious, or that something inexplicable explains consciousness, God or a higher power. Still, many say that how matter could ever yield conscious experience is the hard problem that scientists have yet to solve. Yes, but first things first, and the first thing isn't human conscious experience or self-awareness. It's the struggle for existence, striving, trying, which all living beings do whether they feel it or not. Call it minimal willpower. Plants have it. No feelings, no thoughts, no experience of consciousness, but look at those roots pushing their way through sidewalks in the plant's struggle for its own existence, its will to live. If you can't explain that, good luck explaining the human experience of willpower. An alarming number of researchers skip right over minimal willpower. They assume that plants are just computers. Computers don't have minimal willpower any more than cars do. The hard problem is really the made harder problem because you've left out the crucial middle step between matter and human consciousness, explaining minimal willpower. And matter isn't really where to start either. Nature is. Nature isn't completely reducible to matter. Take a slow-moving stream, matter running smoothly. Increase the flow and the water gets turbulent or forms a whirlpool, water molecules less likely to flow in some directions than others. No magic and yet a change in likeliness resulting from flows constraining each other, an emergent constraint, a property not of water molecules but their dynamic interaction. Changes in likeliness require material, but they're not a material property. If material is all that exists, then change likelinesses are either magic or non-existent. Designing computers, we want no changes in likeliness. Nothing iffy, zero ambiguity. Just huge banks of switches switching each other on and off deterministically. If organisms are just computers, there's no evolution, no responsiveness, no struggle for existence. The struggle for existence is natural but not material. And it's not some new kind of energy either. Same old energy, different likelinesses. Think about it. Water power isn't in the material water molecules, but in how they're channeled, so they're likely to turn a turbine rather than spilling everywhere and settling. The power is in how the energy is constrained. Unconstrained, everything just spills and settles out. To explain unconscious, unfelt willpower, we must explain how a change in likelinesses in chemistry could result in something like a self-regenerative whirlpool, an emergent constraint that channels energy into work that is likely to regenerate the emergent constraint. That would be the beginning of minimal willpower. Above all, first things first, walk before you run. Explain minimal willpower, the struggle for existence before explaining human conscious experience.